It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, it's going to be a little bit different here on the Daily Doug today. I am doing uh, a first here on the channel. We're going to be reacting to music from anime for the very first time on the channel. And I'm a little nervous because I'm very new to this. Uh, just recently, I started to take a look at video game music, and I've done a few reactions to video game music, and several people have been asking me to get into anime based on my my uh, my video gaming. So first, y'all, I'm um, I'm sad to say that I had to actually look up anime. What is anime? <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with me, right? So the term is a shortened form of the English word animation. That makes sense to me. It typically refers to hand-drawn and computer-generated uh, animation that originates in Japan. Uh, so I have never watched an anime show, y'all. I think that is clear. Uh, but I have seen uh, sh uh, short examples of what the art form looks like. So I think that I'll understand what I'm looking at when I finally do get to watch some anime. Um, as I read into the art form itself today, uh, compared to uh, animated movies and cartoons here in America and in the West, anime tends to focus less on the movement of the characters and more on uh, the detail of setting and the use of camera effects like panning and zooming, right? That sort of stuff to, e uh, to you know, evoke their storytelling. Uh, through their, their art form. And one of the common characteristic features of anime characters are their large and emotive eyes. Cool. So that reminds me of what I've seen in the past. So which one am I going to go with today, y'all? Which one am I going to start with? It's a song called Il Vento Doro, and it comes from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So the one that we're actually going to start with is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. And this focuses on the fifth part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which was originally serialized back in the late 1990s uh, in comic books. And this anime ad adaptation was released in 2018. And so as I read in, y'all, here is the plot summary, okay, of this particular anime. And it is set in 2001 in Italy. And Giorno Giovanna has a dream to rise within the Neapolitan Mafia and defeat the boss of Passion, a powerful and influential gang, in order to become a gang star. With his capo and his own gang, he sets out to fulfill this goal of absolving the Mafia of its corruption. <laughs> uh, good luck, Giorno. Uh, so, with this series, uh, Golden Wind, came the first original soundtrack that was released for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And the music was composed by Yugo Kano. And this is the first that I have read about him. He is a very successful, what looks like, an in-demand composer from Japan. He was cr uh, classically trained at the Tokyo College of Music. He is influenced by impressionistic classical music specifically and a lot of jazz. And as I uh, looked into his career, he's written a lot of concert works, but his claim to fame is his work on television and anime and gaming projects. So uh, this track, Il Vento Doro, it means the golden wind in Italian, and this is listed as the overture uh, to this uh, series, and it is the first track that is included in the uh, in the official soundtrack so let's waste no more time friends i need to figure out what this sounds like some of the gaming music that i've looked at has been quite hard edged and i'll be curious to see what il vento doro sounds like so let's take a look y'all here is il vento doro from uh, jojo's bizarre adventure off we go right into it It's Rush! It sounds like Rush to me. That's a neat riff.
That's his jazz influence. It's just in B. the fifth down to the flat and fifth as they go. I'm a fan, friends. I am a fan. I need to, I didn't get a chance. I'm going to go be, be over here. Hi, y'all. I am, I need to talk about that main riff. I didn't get a chance to break it down or play along with it. It was going so fast. We're in B. I'm going to move my chair a little bit. Something like that. Ya da da bum bum. That's that flat five. You know the the B minor chord. It sounds like that. Yum bum. That's that that going down. And using that slick little kind of jazzy, bluesy sort of scale. That was really fun, y'all. When can I listen to more anime? When can I watch more anime? So, I've read a little bit in on anime as a genre 
And it's been around for longer than I uh, realized. It's been really popular around the world for at least a few decades, if not longer. And uh, just in the past few years, music affiliated with these shows have seen quite a rapid growth in online popularity um, as the music has become more widely available with uh, these official soundtrack options and, and, and offerings and uh, also being included and able to stream on music uh, streaming services. In fact, I read about this other song called Idol by Yoa Sobi for the anime series Oshi no Ko. And it recently became the very first anime song to top the Billboard Global chart. Imagine that, the Billboard Global chart, an anime song. And, excuse me, it became number one on Apple Music's top 100 global chart as well this year. So this art form is coming into its own and the music is being starting to be recognized and appreciated on its own, just like uh, we're used to appreciating soundtracks for, for movies and gaming and all that sort of stuff. Wow, is all I have to say. That was really impressive to me, y'all. I didn't have any idea what I was up for, and that was really groovy. I really enjoyed it. So uh, my question to all of you is what anime series or uh, musical selections from anime that you think I would enjoy? Let me know in the comments and tell me where to go next. Maybe it's this uh, idol by Yoasobi uh, for the series Oshi no Ko, or maybe it's a more classic one. Uh, let me know which ones you want me to get to next, and I will see what I can do, friends. But that is all for today. I have very much enjoyed this first little romp into the world of anime, and I look forward to getting back to it soon. Like I said, that is all for today, though, and I thank you for being with me. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Dog.